Guando. Please forgive my little breaks. Over the years, I've learned you don't just rush these kinds of things. No, that'd be like chugging a bottle of fine wine. Slow and steady. That's the way to savor it. After all, the night is still young. And you and your friend have much to look forward to, Mr. Drake. Well, that's a relief. I hate it when my dates end early. Quite good at locating artifacts. Well, it depends on what I'm looking for. And, more importantly, how much I'm getting paid to find it. <laughs> You'll be compensated handsomely. As for the artifact in question, are you familiar with these, Mr. Drake? The three treasures of Indra. Where did you get this? I've been tracking the treasures for years. You might even say I'm obsessed. So far, I've managed to acquire two of the treasures. The Wrath of Indra and the Path of Indra. But the most prized artifact still eludes me. The Eye of Indra. I can see why you'd want it. That diamond would be worth millions. Some things have more value than money, Mr. Drake. If you say so, pal. This is everything my previous finder gathered on the treasures. Unfortunately, we had a falling out, and he is no longer in my employ. And I suppose that's where I come in. You look like you have a good head on your shoulders, Mr. Drake. I assume I don't need to explain what happens to those who cross me. Well, like you said, I've got a good head on my shoulders, and I plan on keeping it there. I can track this baby down, even hand deliver it to you, Mr. Pinkerton. Good. Then, we're in business. Hey, Blanksek! Ini bukan perpustakaan! Yeah, yeah. Nice to meet you too, pal. Dia mah gua tonjok sekali langsung tewas. Hey, easy. You wanted to see a juggling trick, all you had to do was ask. Now, watch carefully. Lu bakal terima balasannya. Ah, oh, crap. Kalian berdua keluar sekarang. Kalian tahu kan dia kerja buat Pinkerton? Uh, Terima Cassie. <laughs> Actually, it's pronounced Terima Cassie, but you're welcome. English? Very cool. Mm. You'll find I'm full of surprises. My name's Rika. I'm the owner of this little hole in the wall. Drake, right? Uh, call me Nate. How do you know my name? Oh, I keep an eye on strangers. Especially when they work for someone as dangerous as Pinkerton. That's just a temporary alliance. I'm in need of some cash, and he's providing it. No need to explain yourself to me. Hey, you know what? I got an idea. Help me translate some of this stuff, and I'll pay you back for that table. Hmm. All this reading seems to intimidate my clientele. Why don't we take this upstairs to my room, and I'll see what I can do. Your room? Sounds like a plan.
What is it? Okay, so the ship's manifest lists just two of the treasures of Indra, right? Mm -hmm. The sword and Erewhon, the three-headed elephant statue thing. Right. No amulet. You know, maybe the Eye of Indra just wasn't on that ship. Well, I was starting to think that too. But check this out. Along with the shipment, the king sends three letters to his daughter. Each one describes a different treasure of Indra. Okay, and? And each one has these weird symbols on the bottom. Nate, those symbols don't mean anything. They're just squiggles. You sure about that? Watch this. So, what does it say? May the Eye of Indra watch over you. Now, look at the drawings. Oh my god. He hid it inside the statue. The same statue that's in Pinkerton's safe. So now what? You're just gonna tell Pinkerton that he already has the amulet? Are you kidding me? I'm not telling that asshole anything. I'm going to rob him. <laughs>